He's a rock star, but he can't sing. At least we don't think he can. And he doesn't dance, that we know of. But in a few weeks, he'll be mobbed by thousands of fans who will come by bus, train and plane to get a glimpse of him. Get ready for Modi mania. The Indian Prime Minister is coming. The colour. The sounds. The aroma. Welcome to a slice of India right in the geographical heart of Sydney. We can never replicate a big India. So we only take a slice of it. Whatever you can see in India, whatever you miss about India, people can experiment on the stage. This is Wigram Street in Harris Park. But if the locals have their say, it'll soon be known as Little India. Why not we make it like a destination place? A place to be a little Indian in Australia. See, look at the smile on the faces, gentlemen. Are you... Sanjay Deshwell is the president of the Little India Harris Park Business Association. He's the unofficial mayor. Australia-Indian relations are on the rise. And it was something, it was just limited to cricket, curries and cinema. Time has come for these relations to acknowledge, to cement it with a place like Little India in Australia. Have a look. This is like... Taking a walk along Wigram Street and there's a tangible sense of excitement. And they all are happy, my friends. Hello. They all come in India. Yes. <laughs> the leader of the world's most populated country is soon expected to arrive on Australian soil. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi heading down under. Prime Minister Modi would certainly be a very welcome guest. Prime Minister Modi was coming to attend the Quad Leaders Summit, which would have seen US President Joe Biden, our PM, and Japan's Fumio Kishida come together to talk free trade and security. After the US President pulled out, the Quad Summit was thrown into disarray. Japan's leader also now a no-show. But India's leader, affectionately known as Modi G, is still on the way. It's a very proud moment for the Australian Indian people. And our lovely hostess. And locals and here couldn't be happier. Are you hoping that you'll be able to say hello to him personally? Yes, of course, why not? <laughs> yeah. In the shadow of Parramatta's ever growing high rises, Little India is the spiritual home to Australia's largest migrant population. It's hoped Prime Minister Modi will lay the foundation stone for the gateway to the Indian satellite country. Which will be the first monument of its kind and that will be for people to remember as a milestone or as an Australian-Indian symbol of friendship. While the Indian PM's precise movements here in Oz are a closely guarded secret, here it's hard to keep anything quiet. Well, I can't divulge out more, as you know, head of the state security is a very serious matter. But it seems all is in readiness. We had high level of delegation visits from the Prime Minister office in India, the Indian High Commission in Australia, Consulate General in Sydney, our local state member and federal member Andy Charlton and Donna Davis, all are working together to make it like a program which goes well for this area. With almost a million Indians living in Australia, Mr Modi's visit will no doubt trigger Modi mania. Charter buses have been booked while a special Modi Airways plane has been chartered to fly Modi disciples from Melbourne. Modi, Modi, Modi. When he was last down under in 2014, he was given a rock star welcome by his people who travelled from all over the country on what became known as the Modi Express. Next Tuesday, tens of thousands of adoring fans are expected to turn up at Sydney's Kudos Bank Arena to say good day, or should that be namaste? This will be a historic time. This it will, will be, like, be historic, won't it? It will be a historic moment. So we want the people, Australians, to see firsthand 
that enjoy the smell, flavors, and the colors of India over here.